this is the first exchange point room for Palo Alto. 100 meg half. Remember, we would sell half duplex yeah. or full right. duplex. That's right. We, uh, we sold a lot of those connections. And so the, the, the switches were behind me. Also, up in the corner here was uh, the commercial inner exchange, which yeah. Paul Vixie had running. I mean, and this was our whole data center, was this room. At any given moment, the medium would change. Okay. Like, we would be like halfway through a build out, yeah. and another medium would come up. So we ran a metric crap ton of that stuff because okay. we thought people would be using DS3. Right. But before long, though, uh, Cat5e was yeah. doing Gig E. Yeah. And, and it became obsolete really fast. If we built these sophisticated patch bays at various places, so we wouldn't have to run these long cables right. overhead. Right. What we learned is every time you patched the cable, it was a point of failure. Right. So in all the future data centers that we created, we eliminated pretty much the use of patch right. bays. That led to yeah. us getting a patent on on a form of cable trays yeah. that didn't have these hangers. Yeah. So you could pop a cable over right. without right. having to fish it down. Yeah. They had this art designer kind of design the look and feel of stuff, yeah. who was bored a lot because digital didn't make a lot of products. Right. And she worked here. So Brian Reed, who was the head of the network systems lab, yeah. brought her over to design all this fancy. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. And, and the cool part of it was, years later they would say, oh, Jay was a film guy. Yeah. And yeah. So he wanted so to create too many. No. But he brought this woman in. Is that right? To give us guidance. And what was really great about it for me was when the lights were off yeah. and these colored lights were shining. That's what I remember. That's what I remember. It looked like it looked like the old series of Star Trek. Whenever like Kirk was in a love scene <laughs> and they would Somebody shine the red lights on the yeah. back, that's what it was like. I mean, basically, these entire patch bays, all these DS3 ports, yeah. would be full. Yeah. And it finally got to the point where. You know, right about the same time we realized patch bays are stupid. Yeah. It was the time that we ran out of space right. anyway on them. <laughs>